Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest Mercenaries DLC videos where I show the best fully upgraded Mercenaries DLC cars in terms of lap time and top speed. For all the information you need about this series, check those original videos, but otherwise let's see where the new Buffalo EVX as well as the planes from day one fall into that list. When it comes to the Streamer 216, first of all, it's basically a slightly quicker Cuban 800 but without the space in the name. Top speed wise it's about 1 mile per hour faster than the Cuban 800 and it's 1 mile per hour slower than the Duster. Not really the nicest to fly, quite unresponsive and lazy when turning. But when it comes to the new Raiju that becomes the new quickest vehicle in the entire game both for lap time and top speed. It demotes the Alpha to second place for lap time by 3 whole seconds and the Pyro to second place in top speed with a whopping 10 mile per hour advantage. Basically, they took what made the Alpha the fastest plane around the lap and what made the Pyro the fastest plane for top speed and combined them to make the Raiju the number one quickest across all vehicles in the entire game. Kind of crazy. All right, now onto the cars and we've got the Buffalo EVX without its HSW upgrades. First of all, it does have Imani tech, of course, this vehicle, but you know, it, it, it's okay in terms of performance. It's seventh place for the muscle class and 14th for top lap time and top speed, respectively. A 106.1 is pretty decent. It's kind of around the same lap time as things like the Clique, the Piss Was a Dominator, the Sabre Turbo Custom, sort of the old quick muscle cars. 119 mile per hour for its top speed is okay. It's nothing special. But obviously it's the HSW upgrade for the Buffalo EVX that where we're really going to see the performance. And it does relatively well, for, but not quite as good as, you know, topping the class like the Raiju has just done. It is second place in the muscle class for lap time and second place for top speed as well. It's about four tenths of a second slower than the Vigero ZX in terms of lap time. And it's a good 13 miles per hour slower in terms of top speed than the Vigero ZX at the top of the class. But it's a you know it, it's relatively close on pace although it does have some insidious pricing which i'll talk about in a couple of minutes because i do want to show the comparison between the raiju and the alpha first of all and it's kind of crazy that you know the the difference here is three whole seconds because at the very top of the planes class you had quite a few planes that were on that 33 34 second mark around you know the alpha the pyro um the, the howard i think was one of them or the rogue there was quite a lot of planes that were all culminating towards that 33 second mark and then the raiju just comes along and absolutely decimates it by three seconds so yeah it, it is it is a monstrous plane and uh, th there's a reason they're charging seven million for it but when it comes back to the cars, obviously we're going to see a comparison first between the uh, the Buffalo and the Vigero, which are the top two muscle cars. Obviously the Vigero does have that uh, edge in terms of top speed quite significantly, I would say. But the problem is the insidious pricing with these HSW cars that we've seen from this DLC because uh, the, the entire Buffalo EVX, even though it's 2.1 uh, million to buy and it's actually $10,000 uh, cheaper than the, the Buffalo STX, it's hsw upgrade is 1.4 million so that makes the entire car to get the maximum performance for it the actual cost is 3.5 million which is insane obviously you could say that that's because it has imani tech but really that should be shown in the upfront cost of the car you know it's a hidden cost that that hsw upgrade you only know the cost of the hsw upgrade to be 1.4 million after you've already shelled out the 2.1 million for the car so that's obviously where they're trying to catch people out and get people in terms of its performance you know it, it's not like your standard electric car where it's got crazy high acceleration uh, it's not really very explosive in that way it's more that it keeps pulling and keeps increasing the speed obviously you can see in the the comparison here that its acceleration, the Buffalo, isn't even that much, it, it's pretty much on par with the Vigero, and the Vigero is just a normal car. But obviously the ZX's greater top speed will really help it when it comes to a lot of tracks. It's going to be very track dependent which one of these will come out on top, but it is kind of nice to see some uh, balance at the top of the class between the two, and in most instances that will be the case. The Buffalo is certainly the easier one to drive of the two, but at the cost of really being slightly slower. 
Just one final thing to point out, keep in mind that the Buffalo EVX does also have the mode upgrade which increases performance. I think the Cyclone 2 had that as well. It's basically just the turbo upgrade but with a name that's not completely nonsensical to an electric car. So make sure that you apply that as well just like you do with engine, brake, spoiler, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much it for this one. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.